Here's another very nice, beautiful, classical case, uh, which I love. And uh, you will soon see, if you haven't already, that this is liver. Don't be fooled by this line here, making you think this is some kind of a mucosa. This is just an artifact of tissue processing. This is wrinkling. And now in this new digital age, this is a digital artifact here as well, which is independent from the tissue, uh, which will probably go away if I click it up one higher power. Yes, it did. Notice you could recognize two things about the liver is that its overall architecture is preserved. In other words, you can see portal areas here, 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 here. And if you're lucky, sort of in between them, like probably here and probably here, you can see central vein areas. That's what we call a preserved hexagonal architecture. In addition, you notice right away that the portal areas here, 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 almost all of them have an increase in inflammatory cells. Also, you can notice there's a little bit of fat stippled throughout here, but not too much. Maybe about as much as what your liver has right now. Not really that much. And even without going high power, these are all the classic features of a viral hepatitis. Preserved architecture, increased inflammatory cells in the portal area. Bingo. That in itself makes you think viral hepatitis. And even though, you know, there are subtle differences between A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uh, I'd rather not waste your time on it or confuse myself anymore either because uh, all the viral hepatitis uh, at one stage could very well have these features of preserved architecture, increased portal uh, inflammatory cells. And of course, with uh, more severity and progression of disease, and even here, you can see that these inflammatory cells are also uh, uh, involving the cords, and some of these hepatocytes are a little bit swollen as well. And these could be even more prominent the more severe the viral hepatitis was. Uh, this could very easily be C, but if you told me it was A or B, I probably believe you. And uh, also, once again, notice that even though some of the hepatitis with enough severity and long-standing uh, features can have fibrous uh, septae extending between them and adjacent portal areas causing the nodules, in this case, there are none. So this is nowhere near cirrhosis, but it is a classical viral hepatitis, and I thank you very much.